Good evening. Good evening. You are in your job, Berta. No, I am. Ah, you're home. Yeah, I am. But I solo voy a estar de oyente. Okay. Él le puse oyente, pero creo que no se grabó. Okay, no, ahí dice, ahí dice. Okay. Okay, okay good. So I'm going to miss your participation. Sí, yo participo. <laughs> yes, I know. You always participate, and that is something that I like. Okay. Aunque no me salgan. <laughs> No, but that is something important because that is a matter of practicing, right? No, no se oye en este colado. Me voy a volver a conectar porque no se oye. Okay, okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Okay, we are going to start and uh, in a couple of minutes, <clears throat> we are going to have like some exercises from having a general review from yesterday's um, topic, right? <clears throat> Remember that yesterday we were working with uh, so and also with such. Even though it seems to be uh, like a complicated topic uh, using both uh, expressions, uh, if we start like practicing one of them uh, and then the other one, I think that it is going to be like easier for you to understand them and the way that we can use them. Also, when we start like using uh, these expressions with the new vocabulary, they they um give us a plus in our speech whenever when we are talking and instead of using just only basic uh sentences now we are getting a little bit higher with these uh expressions right this is just <clears throat> sorry uh, one of the advantages of getting more vocabulary every single day <clears throat> this is the main objective that we have for today's class. For today's, uh, we have a, a topic that it is really, really, really uh, important, and it is uh, also very common to see them. And also, 
it is kind of confusing. Why? Because you will see that we are going to start uh, with the gerunds. We need to understand what gerunds uh, mean. And later we are going to see the different context in which we can use it. Okay, guys. But before, before getting to this point, um, let us make the general review from yesterday. I'm going to share this, uh, what did I do? What did I do? Give me a second. Well, I have these exercises and these are the ones that we are going to complete just to have it, to, to make the, the general uh, review from the topic. Indeed, the topic we started studying the last uh, Monday and then we continued yesterday and now it is just to summing up all what we have studied. I'm going to share a link and this link, you can have the opportunity to complete the exercises and check how much we have understood the previous uh, topics, right? Can you get, can you click on them please and try to complete the exercises that we have in here? Here are the exercises. In total, we have here 20 exercises, right? Okay, guys, let us go and work with them, please. And then, of course, please uh, try to share your final result about these exercises. And just let me know when you can start working on them. Yes, Berta. Hello, Berta. Have you raised your hand, Berta, or it is just a mistake? <clears throat> No, you don't have to download anything. What about the others? Do you have the same, what Berta says? What about the others? Do Can you work on the, on the link in the exercises or do you have to download something? Pero me salió una ventana emergente, lo que hice fue copiar el link, lo abrí en el Google y ahí ya me dejó. Okay. Teacher, ¿lo puede ver de nuevo el link, por favor? Porque esa ventana emergente me, me sacaba. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. pues, what, Eso me pasó a mí. Ah, pues lo que él hizo, Berta, es copiar el, el, el la la dirección y lo abrió en Google. 
y ahí le, le abre bien, dice. Ah, es que ya me por la dirección en el chat, como me sacó. Ok. Ok, ya, ya se lo pegó. Um, ¿Quién me lo pidió? Sorry. Por favor. Ok. There it is. Okay. 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 Ok, ok. Esto es lo que fueron allá, está en inglés, está en español. Esto es que cambiar. Ok. Ok. So we have the first results. Good, guys. Good, Matthew. realicé, pero al momento de generar, no sé si genera como un porcentaje total, pero no me sale nada. Y, no, y me salió como que tengo que... Ajá. Bueno, le di siguiente, pero me tiró lo de cómo comprar la membresía y me borró todas las opciones. Es que a mí no ahí... me sale una opción también. Para tú? No lo puedo enviar. Solamente, es que solamente tomen la captura como ahí le da la opción de check the answer ahí le da ah, la okay. opción de, de revisarla en el instante no hasta que termine ok to your left you have check y ahí le dice si está correct or incorrect Okay, Rose, Matthew and Rose, you have already done it. Let's see, Matthew, uh, Rose. Tres malas me salieron. Okay. La de She Swims, le puse such y ahora so. So. La otra, <laughs> sí, bueno. La cuatro, la cinco. Y la última. Okay. So in the in the last one you you wrote the such, right?
Okay. These exercises are just for having like a general um, view about um, if we have understood clearly the topics that we studied yesterday. Of course, I know that the time is not enough. And uh, from one day to another one, trying to understand everything really clearly, it is kind of difficult, but at least you have the ideas and you can continue practicing. You can continue looking for more information about these exercises, right? About the topic. So we have another one. Okay, you, you took dif different pictures, right, Berta? For showing the contact. Yeah. The whole exercises. Okay. Only one. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, um, uh, when you finish the rest, you can continue posting your results in the chat box, right? Meanwhile, I'm going to share like um, the new topic that we are going to start. Hello, Elsie. Now you're here. Now I have this. Even though we are not going to study all these um, topics that we have in here, but it is, um, how can I say it? The core of many grammar points that we have to study when learning a new language depend from this topic. This topic, it is uh, really important if we want to understand much better a language. Of course, for communication, uh, and if we don't want to go deeper in the grammar points, it is not, uh, sometimes we don't need to go deeper with these topics, but if you want to learn a little bit more about any language, we need to understand a part. I mean, maybe not with uh, conversations, but when you start uh, with the grammar parts, include this topic, part of speech. The parts of the speech, as I said, represent the core of the grammar points. Why? Because if we understand what all these uh, parts represent in our speech, it is going to make it a bit easier, or I can say widely easier, that if we don't know anything about them. For example, I have here noun. What is a noun? What is a pronoun? What is an adjective? What is a verb? Oops, I was about writing B. What is an adverb? What is a preposition? What is a conjunction? 
and what is an interjection. Through the different courses that you have taken when learning English, I am sure that you know how to identify, for example, a verb, because that is the first thing that we need, that we look when we are writing sentences or when we are reading, right? We try to um, identify the verb. Also, it is very common to use the words adjectives, right? Whenever we are describing something because we want to say something about an object. For example, if you have bought a, a bag, you say that it's a beautiful bag or is a black bag. That is an adjective because you are describing. Also, we use a lot the word pronoun. And of course, the word noun. These uh, can be maybe like the most common parts of the speech. But since yesterday we started uh, adding the word adverbs, this is something maybe new. And also we have prepositions, conjunctions and interjections. In total, we have eight parts of the speech. And I would like you to identify and describe them the, in the simplest way, each of them. But I don't want you to look for the definition in the web. In this moment, no. I don't want you to look for their definition. I want you to define what it is a noun, what is a pronoun, what is an adjective, adverb, an adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. The information that you do have in this moment, that is what I want to get from you. Real information. Okay. You are going to okay. discuss with your classmates and for example, you're going to say, okay, in your own words, how do you describe a noun? And since every single member is going to participate, unan y saquen una sola definición from everyone. Pero eso sí, no me hagan trampa. Don't look the definitions in the web. In this moment, do not use the web. Only what you have okay. here. Yes? Okay. Okay, guys. Let us see and try. Let us try. Let us try. Are you going to work, Berta, even though you are oyente listener? Yes. Okay. I can work. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Osvaldo? Yes. Yes. Okay. And Remberto. Yes, teacher. Are you better now? Yes. Okay. Day by day. Okay. Good. Uh, Elsie, Jennifer, and Adilson? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> and Matthew. No. Okay. Only two teams just uh for getting this information. Okay. Let us go and work. I think that we're not going to take more than five minutes, but I'm going to be checking in each team. Let us go and work, please. Okay, Rose. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to send you. Yes, I'm going to send you to a team. O sea que te dieron como mil. ¿Por qué no?
de, de, Fíjate, de lo último que estabas que diciendo. Creo... Ajá. Fíjate que yo creo que lo, lo más importante es que nosotros identifiquemos en la oración que es un nombre, que es un pronombre, que es un adjective. El verbo siento que es el más fácil, va. Es uh -huh. la acción. Uh -huh. La acción. Ajá, pero eh, ¿cómo definirías entonces el, el non vos? O sea, va, ajá, sí, obviamente tenemos que identificarlos. Pero, ¿cómo lo definís? Cada cosa, vaya. Por ejemplo, el nombre, como ¿Cómo el que identifica el sujeto? Así como decir, uh, es tú, él, en lugar de decir el nombre, puedes decir él, ella, esto, aquello, nosotros. El pronombre sería como el que especifica el sujeto, vea. Mm -hmm. Reemplazan al, al nombre. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, Wilfredo y Carlos se reemplaza por we. Uh -huh. No, por they, porque we es nosotros. Ajá, por, por they. Ajá, es cierto. <risa> el pronombres, verbs, sí. adjectives y no. Pero no me falta uh -huh. uno, son cinco. Que no eran cuatro. Mm, cuatro eran. No Cu Cu eran cuatro. Ahí. Yo me acuerdo que eran cuatro. cuatro. No, 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 no. Adjective verb. Ah, pues ya tenemos cuatro. Adjective no verb y pronom. Ya están entonces los cuatro. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Eh, quiere que definamos, entonces esa es una base y podemos agregar claro. un complemento. Ajá. Vaya, pero como ya ahorita creo que ya tenemos definido lo, lo, el nombre, o sea, prácticamente es como lo mismo que dice ahí, solo que como una oración, que era uh -huh. lo que yo ponía, uh -huh. ¿verdad? No uh -huh. sé si a ustedes uh -huh. les parece. 
o lo modificamos. Y lo de verbo, que es este último que, que tenemos, vaya, llevamos dos. Ahora vamos con el pronombre y con el adjetivo. Solo la primera, creo que dice, como el uso, is when you talk the person to think. Vaya, lo podemos arreglar. No, va. Vale, lo vamos a poner the now. Um, referir, ¿cómo es el verbo referir? En lugar de hablar. Ah, no, pero, pero me creo que si no estoy mal sería it is when you talk the person of or thin. Ahí le faltó la R al or. Thin. Ahorita, perdón. That be a principal action. No, sí, así está bien. Solo el or y el it antes. Or, or be a principal, but noun sería now dos puntos. It is when, um, when you, it's when. Two minutes, guys, and we are coming back. Two more minutes, and we finish.
Okay, guys, before listening to your participations, let us work with the attendance in this right moment. Give me just a second. Okay. No, you are going to share. You're not going to write. <laughs> you are going to share. But before we are going to work with the attendance. Okay, let's see. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Ten. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. <coughs> José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Genia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Genia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Y Al Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys. Now let's now share what you have um, and the way that you have described what a noun is or a uh, pronoun, the different parts of the speech that I was showing you. Okay. Now tell us. We have only two teams. I would like to listen to two definitions for noun. What is a noun? It is uh, the name of the person, thing, or place that we are talking. Okay, thank you. The other team? Designate people, animals, or things. Okay, thank you. Pronoun. The pronoun uh, take the place of the noun. We use it to substitute, substitute. substitute the noun. Noun. Pronoun. Adilson? The noun replace the, okay. the name. Replace the name. Okay. Yes. Adjective. Yes. Describe a noun. Uh, uh -huh. yes. Describe a noun. What else? The personal thing is uh, plus the the description that my my partner said. Okay. Uh, Verb. Action or a statement. For example, get, con, could, open, like. Okay. The other team? Wait. 
Was it difficult for Pretty you to please? do it? What is the definition for verb? Is the action? Verbs are actions. Actions. Okay. Were they easy or difficult to describe in your team? The verb? All of them. Now. All of them. All of them. Were they difficult or were they easy for you to describe them? Easy. Easy. Okay. They were easy. Okay. What is the interjection? Sin hacer trampa de haber buscado en la web, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, the purpose of uh, sending you to look for information among, among you, it is because this is a way, a very, 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 very basic way of uh, describing every each part of the speech. And maybe they are similar to what you have. Later on, you will have the opportunity to go and to study a little bit more carefully. The main point, uh, the purpose that we want to achieve, it is you to learn how to identify and also to use these parts of the speech. For example, uh, the nouns. Sure. Yes. La plataforma me saca de la reunión. But how come? Okay, I think that's, yes, it took you out. No, but you are here. You are here, Berta. Well, at least I can see you there. In the, in the participants, right? Okay. If we understand okay, this... No, no, maybe it is because of your earphones. Yes. Okay? Okay. Sometimes it is because of the earphones. Okay, now, if you have this picture, ¿Lo puede identificar dentro de una oración? For example, what is a noun? What is a pronoun? Can you identify it? Okay, for example, in one sentence. What about if I write this? Okay, my friend sent me a gift card. Can you identify there every single part of the, of the sentence? All of them are part of the speech. My, my friends, my, what is my? My, my is a preposition. No. My is a preposition. My, it is a preposition. Friends? It's a noun. Sent. Verb. Verb. It's a verb. verb. Me. Preposition. No. Pronoun. A pronoun? Okay. Mm -hmm. A. Preposition. preposition. Gift. It's not conjunction. 
Got it. It's a noun. Okay. Um, give in this case, um, it's probably a um, complement that that the sentence because give is the thing that you okay. you you give and the other person I think mm -hmm. yes but uh when we are trying to identify like a complement we need to uh name very specific each part of the sentence. In this case, I have a gift card. Será que tenemos otras otras clases de cards? ¿Qué otras clases de cards ustedes conocen? Play card. Credit card. Ah, okay. Credit card. Gift card. Ah, ¿qué otras card? Poker card. Okay. Entonces, gift me está describiendo qué clase de carta es. Entonces, ¿qué papel está jugando gift? Es un adjective. That is an adjective. Porque me está especificando what kind of card I am talking about. Entonces, gift, it is telling me something about the card. Then, my. Me dijeron que era una preposición, ¿ok? No. ¿No? Como no, así no. me dijeron. Yes, teacher. Sí, sí le dijeron, pero no. Ok, me di entonces, what do you think, Adilson? What is my? This is, for me, un pronoun. Okay, for you it is a pronoun. Okay, good. My possessive. It is an adjective. ¿Qué clase de adjective? El que acaba possessive. de decir. Okay. Possessive adjective. ¿Por qué? Porque este me está diciendo algo de ellos, de una pertenencia. ¿A quién le pertenece? A my... ¿A, a, no, a los friends. My friends. ¿Ok? Pues estamos no, hablando de los friends. No, a él porque se la enviaron a él. No, no, la pertenencia es... Perdón, la pertenencia es... ¿Los amigos de quién son? Así es la sí. manera correcta. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿De quién son los amigos? My... Mios. Ok, Mios. ok. Okay, son mis amigos, okay? That is why it is an adjective. And what is me? Pronoun. Ahora sí, this is a pronoun. Se fijan, every single part of the speech in a, in a correct combination, in a correct order, Hacen que tengamos las oraciones gramaticalmente correctas. This is just for having you a, like a general view. ¿Por qué me interesa? And what am I emphasizing in this before the topic? Because what follows for the topic that we have to study today, it is very important for you to identify this. Okay? Los okay. nouns normalmente toman diferentes lugares in one sentence. Los nouns. Y necesitamos identificarlos. For example, in this sentence, ¿qué es card? Mm -hmm. A noun que es friends. A noun. A noun, pero están ubicados en diferentes posiciones. ¿Cuál de los dos nouns representa el sujeto? Friends. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Friends. ¿Por qué identifico friends. que friends es el sujeto? Porque ellos ejecutan la acción de 
Mandar. De enviar. De enviar. Entonces, they are the action, the, 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 the subject. Si esto lo hemos comprendido, you will see por qué es que estoy enfatizando about this. And it is because if we go Oops, 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 oops. I'm going to stop sharing. Que no quiere moverse esto de aquí. Vamos a ver. In our book, we have this. No se deja ver. Vamos a ver. Okay. In our book, we have this. How to use gerunds as subjects after some verbs and after prepositions. So in this exercise, in this topic, it means que si ahí dice que tiene que el, el gerund va a trabajar como sujeto, I need to know what a subject is. If it is there that uh, the gerunds are going to be after some verbs, you need to know what a verb is. And if it says, that the gerund is going to be after prepositions, you need to identify what a preposition is. Si no sabemos qué es cada uno de ellos, it is going to be a little bit more difficult for us to identify this. For example, this chart says how to use gerunds. What are gerunds? Gerundio. Okay. This is the gerund. This is the gerund. And this is the gerund. All of them. You're asking to? Yes, I have more here. I have asking. I have hiring. And I have produced it. What is the common characteristics of all these circle words? ING. 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 And this is, uh, this ING is telling us that they are gerunds, but we need to identify que ese gerund juega diferentes posiciones en las oraciones. Este no se conforma con estar solamente en un solo lugar. No va solo con el verbo. No, no solamente va a la par del verbo. También se separa del verbo y se va para otros lugares. Es... Muy caprichoso, this gerund. Ahora, el juego será. How am I going to identify a dónde está y a dónde lo debo utilizar o qué rol está jugando en cada oración? For example, in this one it says, as subjects. As subjects. ¿A dónde normalmente en una oración encontramos el subject? For example, if I say, they they
mayúsculas. Ok. I say they play basketball. Which is the subject? At the beginning, right? Yes. And if I compare this with this, no todo el tiempo, at the beginning of the sentence, yo voy a tener my friends, my mom, I, you, he, she, it. There are some that are going to have different appearance. Pero que van a estar jugando el papel de un noun as a subject. Y vengo y lo ubico aquí, at the beginning. Entonces digo, increasing our sales is mandatory. Increasing our sales is, this is the verb, mandatory. ¿Qué posición está jugando ese gerund, ing? At the beginning, as subject. Y aquí es donde viene el mayor error que cometemos. Creemos que es present continuous. Sí, por llevar, el, por llevar el ING. That's it. Because it is ING, creemos que ahí dice an action incrementando. In, in this moment, that's it. Incrementando. But it is not. It doesn't say incrementando. What does it say? Let us see the second. Producing high quality goods is our target. Again, ING. ING, and it is at the beginning, as a subject. Pero no dice produciendo. No dice incrementando como, uh, be, como present progressive. So what does it say? Aumenta. As a noun, as a noun, no como verbo. Por ejemplo, vamos a ver. O sea que en español sería, teacher, él incrementó nuestra... nuestra... O, ajá, o no, incrementar no. nuestras ventas es obligatorio. Incrementar, no, pongámoslo como un noun. Incrementar es el verbo. ¿Cómo puede sustantivar usted en la palabra incrementar? Aumentó. No, no sustantivar con la misma palabra. Y tal vez sería el incremento de nuestras That's ventas. It. That's it. El incremento se convirtió en un sustantivo, no verbo, no es incrementar, no uh -huh. es incrementando, sino que sustantivándolo es poniéndolo como un nombre, el incremento de nuestras, venda, de nuestras ventas es obligatoria. Uh -huh. Ok, so, in the second one, Producir alta calidad. No, porque es producir bueno... es el verbo. Producción. Ajá. Producción de alta calidad. La producción. Eh... La producción. Ajá, Ajá, la producción de alta calidad. Es bueno para nuestro uh... sector. No, objetivo. Good no quiere decir bueno. De buena calidad es nuestro objetivo. Good uh -huh. aquí no quiere decir bueno. Check, ahora sí. Uh, good puede ser adjetivo. 
pero check in this moment what is good. Goods. Deja de ser adjetivo porque vea, lleva una S. Los adjetivos no se pluralizan, jamás. I cannot say beautiful is. I cannot say bad is. I cannot say um, intelligent is. I cannot say that. So, and it says goods. ¿Qué significa? Goods. Check it out. De bienes. La producción de bienes de alta calidad. Ajá. Bienes. It is in plural, okay? It, it is our, our main purpose, our objective, okay? That is the target. Entonces, ¿se fijan a dónde utilizamos ese gerund? Ah, pero resultó que en la otra oración, mire para dónde se fue. No quiso ser sujeto. ¿Se fue? Después de otro verbo, dice, after some verbs, I think, ¿quién es el sujeto en esta oración? I think. I. I, exacto. I think that I prefer, y después de un verbo viene otro verbo. I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. Teacher. Yes? I never progressive ah. in the statement. Oh, yes. In this one? Mm no, never, it okay. is a present progressive, never okay. en ninguno de los tres lugares representa un uh, progressive ok ok ok, I think I prefer getting a bank loan if you think this in Spanish va a pensar en ponerlo como Obteniendo o cómo? ¿Cómo cree usted que diría? Obtener. That's it. Jamás lo va a hacer como ando, endo. I dislike fighting employees due to low incomes. Después de otro verbo. I dislike fighting employees. What does it mean? Hey. Despedir. Yes. Pero ya en la oración, ¿qué dice? No me gusta despedir empleados. Ok. Despedir. Un verbo después de otro verbo. Dislike. Fighting. Prefer. Getting. Y la última, after prepositions, I am interested in buying raw material. I'm concerned about asking for money. The important aspect here, it is that you need to identify where is the, the preposition. Which is the preposition? Is which is the preposition after they say um I can't I know I can see Wait. in in is the preposition and in the second about okay los gerunds se forman Después de una preposición, si yo quiero utilizar un verbo después de una preposición, debo utilizar gerund, ing. Pero tampoco lo voy a traducir como que está haciendo en ese momento, buying, comprando, no. 
I am interested in buying raw material. ¿Cómo lo voy a decir en Spanish? Estoy interesado en comprar. That's it. Nuevo material. Yes. What is raw material? What is raw material? Material uh, prima. That's it. And I am concerned about asking for money. So, in this... Consultar. I am concerned. No, consultar. Concerned. It is not uh, consultar. I am concerned. Like to be worried about something. So I was about telling you that zero form se fijaron que se posicionó in three different places. A subject at the beginning. After some verbs y por qué dice some verbs because a veces tenemos verbos que anteceden que no puedo utilizar gerund. I have to use infinitive to. We need to classify to. There are some verbs in which I need to use ing form as a second verb, but there are some others that they cannot, uh, they don't allow you to use an ing form of the verb. It is using two, two, um, four, uh, expressing the same idea, but in a different way, an infinitive way, right? Then later we are going to see that, but in this moment, I just want you to understand that. And we are going to practice some exercises based on this information. Let's see. Vamos a ver. We're going to uh, reproduce something similar to this. The first one, it says, first, it, it is telling us, the chart is telling us, what is the errand? A gerund is a noun made from a verb by adding ing. Es un noun. Es un noun que se posiciona en tres diferentes lugares in the book. But if you can see here, indeed, ese gerund puedes pasar como subject, direct object, subject complement, object complement, object of preposition, and object of a possessive. Si lo leemos así, pues it, it sounds really complicated. But if we really appreciate what we have as an example, it's better. Just check the order. Running is good for your heart. I want you to uh have like a screenshot for this i'm gonna do it for you too i'm going to erase let me see i'm gonna do it for you
that it is. What are you going to do with this information? Hey guys. Vamos a ir a escribir una oración very alike por cada uno de ellos. No se alejen del example. Solo try to change the idea using another complement, using another verb. Pero tratemos de mantener the order that they have as example. Because later, vamos a escribir... Um, oops. For example, I'm going to show you this subject. Running is good for your heart. And then you are going to continue writing your examples, right? But the base is this. Un ejemplo de cada uno de ellos modificado en cierta manera por ustedes. Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, but when, who, when, <laughs> yes, but when you talk about modified, when you talk about modified what? The verb? The change in the maintain the sentences or modify what? You you can change um the the gerund. For example, okay. here it says okay. running. Yes. Um pero si usted quiere utilizar otro gerundio formado de un verbo en lugar de decir running, va a decir for example, walking. Yes, okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Substituting, trying to look for coherent, similar examples. Okay. Ya voy a revisar, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Ok.
ممكن نفتح كده على <تصفيق> تيشر ااا هلو تيشر ااا we have a dude in the number five the last one ها so I know I try to read it and I don't understand the gerund in the sentences and she doesn't like yes or I am interested um in this sentence the last one yeah, yes, the last one. She doesn't like your boss in her around. What is yeah. bo boss? Bossing. Bossing comes from a verb that is boss. Yes. Okay, so she is bossing someone. She doesn't like your bossing here around or she does or maybe i don't like your bossing me around what is yes, the meaning of bossing i i i'd ask first <laughs> what do you understand by bossing si si el verbo viene de boss y qué significa boss f Jefe. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, ¿y el jefe que normalmente hace? <ríe> Mandar. Ajá, ok. Mandando. No, acuérdense que no vamos a decir mandando. Porque no Ordenar. es progresivo. Ajá. O en este caso, pues, El que él no le gusta, que le mande, right? Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso le dice. Que le ordene. Ajá, que le ordene hacer algo. So, she doesn't like your busting her. Mm, ok. Ok. Es con referente a eso. Ok, thank you. How to bus, ok. And you have finished, right? Have you finished? No, not yet. Okay, Just the last one. Yet. Okay, good. Hello, teacher. Consulta en la tercera de subject complement. ¿Verdad que podríamos dejar la de he hate talking in public? He hates en, en la segunda. No, en subject complement. Subject complement. Let's see what she No, perdón, perdón, perdón. En direct, direct object. 
Aha, but direct object, it is the second one, that's why. Yes, second. Okay. He hates? Uh, talking in public. Yes. Yes, you can say it, you can use it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. I've, have you finished or you're about? Estamos en la cuarta. Okay. Okay, you solo le faltan dos entonces. Okay. Yes. La última, la última al otro equipo ya le dio problemitas que no entendían qué es lo que quería decir. Entonces, el bossing, bossing, uh, muchos sí saben qué quiere decir boss, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, el, el hecho de el bossing uh, es un sustantivo, siempre viene a ser un sustantivo, pero hay que relacionarlo no como el verbo de haciendo, sino que como un sustantivo, remember. She doesn't like your bossing her around. ¿Cómo comprenderíamos eso? A ella no le gusta mandar a su alrededor. No, no es que, que a ella no le gusta mandar a su alrededor, no. A alguien no le gusta que le manden. A ella no le gusta que le manden, que ella le mande. Ok. So, she doesn't like your posing here. A ella no le gusta mm -hmm. que tú le mandes a ella, ok. The example podría ser, she doesn't like it when you send him food. Uh, no. No, no, no. Tendríamos que buscar. Like. Uh, sería, she doesn't like sending food. Sending. You're sending food. No, porque tiene que ser una acción que haga. Basado en la acción, verbo que se haga sustantivo. Mm -hmm. En este caso, podría ser, a ella no le gusta atender clientes. Porque como aquí estaba... Según la explicación, es, ajá, a ella no le gusta, por ejemplo, que recibir órdenes o que su jefe le dé órdenes, una cosa así. Ajá. ¿Ah? En, la, en, la, en el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, podría aplicar así, que, que sea, she, she does, she does not like um, receiving um, the orders or the attempts. No. O attending clients. Ajá. ¿Cómo okay. Sus... ok, ok. Entonces vamos a entender ese, ese buzzing. Quizás en español hay que darle un poquito más de, ¿cómo les digo? De, 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 de trato para que el, el sentido de la oración sea mejor. Uh -huh. Porque cuando okay. dice, she doesn't like your buzzing here around, podríamos... Uh -huh. E irnos y decir que a ella no le gusta su manera de ok su manera de mandar mandar ajá. ¿no? su manera de mandar alrededor, alrededor no su manera de mandar la a ella ok ese es el here su manera de mandar entonces okay. ahorita que están diciendo su manera de venderle o podríamos ser su manera de hablarle ¿Cómo podríamos ser a su manera de hablarle? She doesn't like uh, speaking in this, around. In this talk. way, I talk, talk, talk. talk it is talking. The best. Yes. Talking. She talking. doesn't like your talking here. 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 Okay. You're talking sure. here around. ¿Por qué? Around, Su manera okay. de hablarle. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, that's it. Ok, thank you, teacher. Anytime.
be ready. We have just one more minute and we come back. I back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Now I would like you to type. Uh, in the chat box, ¿cuál fue la oración que ustedes tienen? Or if you can say it here, which is the one that you have for the first example as a subject. Jumping uh, is good exercise. Okay, jumping is a good exercise for you, okay? Singing is good to free stress. Okay, that's it. Very good. As direct object. She loves cooking dinner. She loves cooking dinner, yes. Buscaron un verbo adecuado que después dice que se puede utilizar ing. That is correct. She loves eating pizza. She loves eating pizza. Very good, guys. Next. What I dislike most is talking loudly. Okay. Okay. So you speak a little bit smooth. Okay. That it is not that loud. Cute. And the other one? What I dislike most is studying politics. Study history. <laughs> studying so. history, studying politics. <laughs> I love history. I hate politics. Okay. <laughs> Good. As an object complement. I, I saw know Carlos playing his video game. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I saw Jose driving his car. Okay. Very good. I okay. insisted. Huh? I insisted in sleeping early today. 
Oh, wait, Berta, we all, we are about uh, getting, uh, going to bed early, okay? We are <laughs> about, we are missing just two classes and you are going to be free at 8 o'clock from next week on, <laughs> okay? Yay. But you, ha you have to be patient, <laughs> only two more days and you finish, we finish. Okay, so Maybe. I am interested in sleeping early. <laughs> and what about the others? Um, inter interesting, interesting in a buy interesting in a buying a farm. Okay, in buying oh. in buy in buying in buying a farm. Okay, good. Alarm. Mm -hmm. And the last one. This she was, I, I'm sorry. This was the, the most complicated, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I but, appreciate your helping me. Can you repeat? I appreciate your helping me. I appreciate. You're, you're helping me. You're helping me. Yes, yes. It is an object of a possessive. Um, the other. She doesn't like you talking her around. Okay. Yeah, also. Okay, guys. Now, this is what we have in the book. This is the first conversation that we have in the book. Listen. Yes. Uh, assistant. Ah, yes, the attendance, the attendance. Y sonó uh -huh. la alarma, mire, y la ignoré. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> la no apagué good. and I continued. <laughs> no. But thank you, thank you. Give me a second. Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yo sí. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Your microphone, teacher. Present, I'm teacher. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Me quedé con Kenia. Kenia said, Right? Kenia Stephanie. Okay. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucia Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. No está Matthew, por ahí estaba Matthew. Maximiliano, hola, hola. okay. Uh, Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Ok. Teacher. Present, teacher. Yes. 
Terminamos la otra semana, ¿verdad? O mañana. No, es el lunes. El y lunes. vamos a terminar mañana. But we have to finish till Monday. Yes. Es que la teacher tenía derecho a descansar un día. <laughs> Thank you. It was not something that I wanted, but anyways. Teacher. Yes, Kenya. Teacher. Este me sacó Zoom de, de, de la clase porque tengo problemas con el internet en lo que usted me estaba mencionando. Ok, ahí, ahí estoy viendo que ahí me mandó una foto. Sí, no sé? okay, igual yes. se congeló, le escuchaba cortado. <risa> ok. Sí. Ok, ya está ahí con la asistencia. Ok, guys. Um... I was telling you that this is the conversation that we have in our book. Now we are going to understand a little bit more about what we have here. Now you are going to understand that not all the INGs are present progressive. Right now we have to analyze to identify what part of the speech is that. The only thing that you need to understand is the present progressive necesita tener el to be a la par y después el ing. But these expressions with ing, the gerund form, they don't have the verb to be next to it, right? And that is the difference with these ones present progressive differs from these ones because it is not the verb to be next to each of these words. Okay, we are going to uh, to read and uh, then we are going to uh, repeat. But first, let us just uh, to listen to this conversation. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let us try it out. ¿Se fijan cómo esta conversación utiliza mucho el gerund sin necesidad de utilizar un present progressive? Cosa que antes creíamos que todo el ING era un present progressive. And now you see the difference. ¿Cierto o no? Cierto. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is what we have. <clears throat> Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Okay, now it is time for you. We are going to read. 
Okay, we are going to read, just trying to make the emphasis of this. And then we are going to answer like three questions that we have laid. Let's see, I have um, Hugo and Milton. Hugo and Milton, I need two volunteers for reading. Me teacher. Me okay. teacher. Okay, oh. Elsie and Jennifer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. The sales, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to what to to do? Sure. <laughs> First, mm -hmm. analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have, have, have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials, so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can play it with the incomes we get. I'm cons concerned about asking for money, but let's try try it out. Mm, but let's try it out. Try it out. But let's try it out. That's it. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you, ladies. Two more volunteers. What about Me? you guys? Okay, Berta. Berta, in. Um, okay. Rose levantó la, la okay, mano hace la mano. ratito. Yes, teacher. Okay, Rose, I didn't see. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't see your hand. Okay. Uh, Berta and Rose. Okay. The, sale, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sales. That is a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw material. So we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for, for that, but I know that we can pay in with the incomes we get. I concerned about asking for money, but let's try let's try it out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, thank you very much, ladies. Now let us classify it. This is going to be easier because from the previous exercises, we have more varieties of how to use gerunds. But in the book, we have only three. As a subject, as a, after a verb, and after a preposition, right? Now let's mm -hmm. consider the sentences. Let's see this. If I say increasing our sales is our target in this month, what place is increasing uh, in this moment, in this sentence, as a subject, after a verb, or after a preposition? A subject. As a subject. Increasing our sales is our target. Good. Analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each cell. After the verb. Uh, 
Okay. What what do the others think? As a subject? Yes, After for me the that? subject too. Uh, I'm not sure, but I I don't know. <laughs> what about the others? For me, it's the first one. Okay. First, analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes have, hasta que aparece el verbo. The first, it is just introdu introduction to the sentence. So this is? The subject. Subject two. Then, uh, I'm interested, I guess it's not as fácil, okay? I'm interested in buying raw materials. After the verb. Um, After the verb? After the preposition. After, After the, the preposition. preposition. After the preposition, okay? However, I prefer getting back, getting a bank loan for that. Direct object? Remember that from the book, we have only three. As a subject, after the verb, and after a preposition. After a verb. After okay. the verb. That's it. After the verb, prefer. Next. I'm concerned about asking for money. Oops. After the preposition. Therapy position. So these are not that complicated. Por favor? Okay. <laughs> no, ponete the calcetin. Okay. And now we have, since you have the book, quiero que recuerden the information. I'm going to erase all this because we are going to answer only three questions and we are going to finish with that. We have three questions. What are the, what is the objective this month? No is there. What is the objective this month? What are some steps? Uh -huh. Increase the sales. Okay, that's it. What are some steps they want to follow? Analyzing and Keeping, keeping to track. Keeping our track. And our okay. And what is one of them worried about? They don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> they sales. Yes. They want to sell, right? He said. Okay. Because they, 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 it says, I prefer getting back. I prefer a bank loan for that, but I know that we can't pay it with incomes we get. So they are worried about the sales because they really need the money. Okay, guys. And uh, this is homework assignment for tomorrow. Would you have this in your books? Okay, this is what you have in your books. The only thing that we have to do is to place the verbs in the correct, not the verbs, the gerunds in the correct place. Why? Okay. Remember that 
We have gerunds. Si aquí aparece ask, al momento en que usted lo vaya a pasar aquí a cualquiera, maybe here, how are you going to, to write? That's it. You are going to say asking. So all this has to be written as in the gerund form. Not only this bed. Only these ones. Only these ones. We have, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they match completely in the exercises. Right? Okay. Right. Okay. And the last question, have you worked in the exercises from the platform? Sí, yo hice, pedí que me las revisara. Sí, habían dos que no me las había registrado la plataforma. Ah, pero sí le resolvieron entonces. Sí, me la me revisó Mireya y las actualizó. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Ya estoy con la de esta semana nada más. Ok, roki roki. Ok, sí, porque inmediatamente we finish mandan los scores uh, automatically, right? Ok, guys. Y espero que todos los demás igual eh, sigan avanzando, ¿verdad? Ya ahora no revisé, but I really hope and I really trust you about these homework assignments. Any questions? Hello? Ok, guys. So, if you don't have, yeah, can we go to sleep now? <laughs> okay. Please. <laughs> okay, guys. Please. So, good night. Uh, Take good care. Night. Bye bye. Take See care. you tomorrow. Bye See bye. You. bye. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Very sad, Matthew. Or sleepy. <laughs> or sleepy, right? <laughs> sleepy. Yes. <laughs>